Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I, I, I don't know what happened. Uh, but I, I guess getting back to this episode. Oh, oh, huh? What the? What is happening? Oh, what is this? Huh? Did I pay the... Oh no, oh no. I, I paid this. I, I swear, I, I, I paid this. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta go. Alright, block there. Kill that. Oh, that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. Starting us off is Andrew, piloting Grolnok, the Omnivore. This frog is all about milling, with powerful combos in Hermit Druid and Thassas. Next up is Brennan, on Lawness, Cryptozoologist. Offering a few unique combos card draw in the form of clues, and the sneaky ability to steal top deck tutors since no one remembers what the card actually does. In the third spot is Panhandle Man Solo, playing Tivit, Seller of Secrets. Clues, treasures, and Time Thief go hand in hand, with the ever-powerful Thassas as backup. And bringing up the rear is Hidden, who brought Winota, Joiner of Forces. Play powerful non-humans, get powerful humans with a stacks package to slow everyone else down while you beat face. But without further ado, let's get onto the gameplay. Andrew starts off the game with a tropical island into a seal of removal. Uh, Moxo. Oh, I know. No, no, not Moxo, we'll pass, all right? Got my That's a brave hand. That is a brave hand. We'll get there, I promise. Panhandle has a tundra and passes. Hidden takes one off a Mana Conflux for a turn 1 Ragavan. Andrew plays a Yavamaya's land for turn. Brennan plays an Ancient Tomb, taking 3 to cast an Aether Channeler, who on ETB draws a card. Panhandle also has a Mana Confluence and casts a Grim Monolith. Hidden plays a Mox Diamond and discards an Ink Moth Nexus playing an Ancient Tomb as Lan and takes 3 as he attempts to cast his commander Winota, who resolves, but as he heads to combat, Andrew sacks his seal to bounce the commander before any attack triggers can go on the stack. Hidden does send the monkey at Andrew, who exiles a Mox Diamond off the top, with Hidden passing after that. Andrew has a City of Traitors and pays 4 for his commander Grolnok. Brendan plays a Forest and casts his commander Lawness. Panhandle has a command tower and casts his commander Tivit. The Sphinx resolves and he gets triple clue and double treasure. Hidden has a city of traitors and recasts Winota again. Heading to combat, although this time everyone has blockers. Hidden sends Ragavan at Brennan, triggering Winota and whiffing. And to make matters worse, Brennan trades his channeler with the monkey. With Hidden being done after that. Andrew heads straight to combat and sends Grolnok at Brennan for 3. On attack, he mills 3, with the only permanent being an Elvish Mystic, with Brennan taking the hit. Then on his second main, Andrew plays an Emergence on his land, sacrificing his City of Traitors. He then casts a Gilded Drake. The Drake enters and tries to steal Tivit. He pays the ward cost, but Panhandle is quick to fire off a Cyclonic Rift, to bounce the Drake and stop the swap. However, this is where Hidden steps in with a deflecting swat to redirect the rift to Grolnok instead. The frog is bounced, Tivit switches sides, and Andrew is done after that. Brennan plays an island as land and for two casts a bloom tender, who on ETB triggers Lawness for a clue. Next up is a spell seeker, who resolves. But responding to the ETB, Hidden flashes in an archivist of Ogma. The Archivist resolves, Brennan gets a Cyclonic Rift, gets another clue from Lawness, and Hidden gets the draw off his Archivist. Panhandle untaps, and before his draw, casts an Enlightened Tutor. He finds a Mystic Remora to put on top. Hidden draws from the Archivist, but before Panhandle actually draws, Brennan activates Lawness, sacrificing a clue to reveal the top card of Panhandle's library, basically getting to steal Panhandle's fish from right under his nose. Panhandle then draws for turn and chucks in a watery grave, passing after that. Hidden casts a Rograk, which unfortunately does not have haste, and follows it up with a Phyrexian Revoker. 
He's not sure what to hit and not knowing the deck, names Lanus. A Sarah's Ascendant then comes out with hidden moving to combat and sending a Winota at Panhandle for 4. Andrew untaps and hits straight to combat, sending Tivin at Brennan for 6. He takes the hit and the table give Andrew 3 clues and 2 treasure. With him on his second main casting a Finale of Devastation, where X equals 2. He gives a card to Brennan off the fish with Panhandle responding with an Opposition Agent. The Agent resolves and Panhandle searches Andrew's library for Athasa's Oracle, exiling it with him and getting to draw off his Archivist. Brennan pays to keep the fish alive. Man, we're being jerks to each other. I love, <laughs> I know, that's awesome. I love you, man, but <laughs> we're there. I don't think I've ever taken your Tivit though since it's so, it's so freaking cuts to the tank. A Lotus Petal then comes out, followed up by a Misty Rainforest, which can luckily tap for green. Panhandle on his turn to cast a Wish Claw Talisman and feeds a card to Brennan. So I have his permanent. He's got one of my permanents in his hand. We have one of his permanents. Okay. Right. I'll go this happening. We'll, 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 it's a big old chair. I could have, and I could have had, had mine. Yeah, okay. yeah. Just, all right. We'll keep track of everything. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like that. Hidden for three, cast a Glow Rider and then heads to combat. He sends Winota and Sarah's Ascendant at Panhandle, with the rest of the team heading at Andrew. He has two Winota triggers, revealing a Dreneth Magistrate heading at Andrew, with the second Winota trigger revealing a Cathar Commando, also heading at Andrew. Players take the hit, although as I'm editing the video, I realize Glow Rider doesn't have haste, so Andrew should have taken at least one less hit. Now in his main phase two, Hidden makes a deal with Brennan, Hidden wants to be able to recast the Dranith to stop the exiled Thassas and convinces Brennan to fire off the Cyclonic Rift then instead. Panhandle does sacrifice a clue in response, but the board is bounced, with Hidden recasting the Dranith as promised, heading to discard to discard a few cards due to hand size. Andrew plays an exotic orchard as land for turn and recasts his Gilded Drake. He swaps control with the Dranith and passes after that. Brennan untaps and pays for his fish. He plays a Gaius Cradle and for two casts a Destiny Spinner. He gets another clue from Lanus and casts a Defiler of Dreams, ending his turn getting another clue. Panhandle plays a Cavern of Souls and names Rogue. A Dark Ritual then comes out and Brennan draws. Hidden then comes out uncounterably and on ETB he gets two treasures and three clues. Hidden taps his city for mana and then shocks in a sacred foundry, recasting Winota and his Rograk. Hidden then moves to combat, but before attackers are declared, Brennan casts a Resculpt on Winota, turning the commander into a 4 4, with Hidden skipping through combat to cast a Phyrexian Revoker on his second main, naming Time Sieve. Andrew has a fast turn, just recasting Grolnok, with Brennan at his end step, cracking a clue to draw. Brennan finally lets his fish go and plays a Manamo at Water's Edge as land for turn. He taps his cradle for 5 green and uses 3 of it on a Manglehorn, who on ETB targets a treasure from Panhandle, who cracks it for mana instead. Brennan does get another clue from Lanus and uses the rest of his floating mana to crack one to draw. Brennan then moves phases and Panhandle cracks a clue before his floating mana dissipates. Panhandle heads to combat and sends Tivit at Brennan, who takes the hit. He gets 3 tap clues and 2 tap treasures, with him on his second main casting a Savine's Reclamation to bring back his fish, ending his turn with a tapped Wishclaw Talisman. Hidden on his turn recasts Sarah's Ascendant into a Mother of Runes. Andrew heads to combat and sends his frog at Panhandle, who on attack mills 3. Exiling an Ancient Tomb, Birds of Paradise, and a Ken Transformation with Croak Counters. He plays the Ancient Tomb as land, and for 5 casts a Tezzeret the Seeker. Panhandle gets to draw off of his fish, with Andrew down ticking for 2 to grab out a Mesmeric Orb, with Brennan at his end step cracking 2 clues. Brennan untaps and mills 6. He plays out a Command Tower, and then taps his Cradle for 6 and with the help of an island casts a Neoform. He actually pays for the fish and grabs out a Phyrexian Metamorph, which enters as a copy of Tivit, 
and even with the option, the tables still give him three clues and two treasures, with him making an extra one from Lawness. Panhandle untaps and mills 11. He pays for his fish, plays a sea of clouds, and grim tutors. He goes searching, deciding to pass after he finds his card. Hidden mills 2, has a scalding turn in his land and recasts his glow rider with Andrew at his end step, tapping his lands to mill an extra card. I can't believe you guys let me have my Tezzeret. That was so nice of you. You are like, yeah, go for oh, it. Oh, I totally forgot. I was, like, I was like, dude, these guys are so polite and it's so, so kind. Let's have a fun turn. So they'll... I honestly completely forgot. And that's Tezzeret why I said still... absolutely yeah. nothing the entire time. Uh, He's going away this turn anyway. So mill one. It's croaked, uncroaked, yeah, croaked. Oh, that's excellent. I don't even need my fossils anymore. Uh, croaked. This is five croaks. This is an excellent, excellent. <laughs> Andrew then gets to cast an exiled elvish mystic, following it up with a birthing pod. He gives a card to Brennan with the pod entering tap due to the mangle horn. Next up is a Sylvan safekeeper, with Andrew then down taking Tezzeret for another two. But this is just too juicy a target as Panhandle casts his bounced opposition agent. Switch hitting cracks his scalding turn in response to grab out a plateau, shortcutting as he also flashes in his Archivist of Ogma as well. The agent then resolves and Panhandle exiles a Lightning Greaves. My Greaves, that's what I wanted! Oh, really? Wow. That's what I wanted! No! That's crazy. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's awesome. That's I'm okay, I can, I can still grab the Basalt Monolith somehow. Hidden gets to draw off of his Archivist, with Brennan at his end step cracking four clues to draw. Brennan untaps and mills 7. He plays a Tide Channel Pathways land, with his first spell up being a Veil of Summer. He even has enough mana to pay for the fish. Okay, so that's 2, so I have 4 green floating. Yes, my blue and black spells cannot touch you now. Uh, we, there's there a Thalia out or something like that? There is a Thalia out. That's really good, man. I'm, I'm glad that you have that up and I got 1 mana. That's really good. <laughs> That's really solid. That's on you. Can you get rid of it? Yeah. I can stop that from happening. Silence, but... Uh, you, I, you act like I could get rid of it. I'm just curious, so. yeah. You know what's really awkward? When you forget that there's an alpha in the handle. The real deal. Yeah. A malevolent hermit then comes out. He gets to draw off the Harbringer and gains another clue from Lannis. Combat is then healed as he sends the clone Tivit at Andrew for six who takes the hit. The table then gives Brennan three clues and two treasures. He then uses Manamo to untap his cradle and taps it for seven green. He's back to clue cracking though. Seeing if I can find a way out of my stupidity right now, to be honest. <laughs> also, the table realizes he does need to mill one when he untapped his land. Next up is an Oko Thief of Crowns. Brennan isn't paying for the fish this time, and uses Oko to elk it. Brennan then starts tapping his creatures to help pay for a Court of Calling, where X equals 3. Panhandle gets to draw again. You have, a, you have an action, Andrew? Unfortunately, no, because of uh, the really awesome Thalia. Because of it? I like her. It's an awesome stacks piece. And then stacks piece into a pass. Stacks piece into a passive. You one play mana, like though, it right? wasn't out there when you took your turn. So. <laughs> it's true. No, I forgot about it. Is it just one mana? It's one, one additional. additional. One I have yeah. one mana available to me. This was top. This came out this turn. And luckily for the table, Panhandle has a response as he mind break traps it. One of the few cards that actually gets around the Veil of Summer. Brennan does get a response as he fires off a fierce guardianship, giving another card to Panhandle. And this time it's Andrew who has a response as he also fires off a Mind Break Trap, hoping to exile everything else on the stack. But Brendan has another response as he cracks his Hermit to counter the second Mind Break, although this now puts him mana short to actually finish his combo. The stack then starts resolving, and Brendan goes searching with his cord. He settles on an Eternal Witness, with Hidden drawing off the Archivist and the Ewit grabbing a milled Shrieking Drake back to Brennan's hand. Brennan can then pay 2 life from his Harbringer to cast the Drake for free. This draws him a card, nets him a clue on the ETB, and then bounces itself. He pays another 2 life to repeat the process. Does it for a third time, 
and then finally a fourth time to drop him to two life. Using the last of his mana to recast the drake, this time bouncing his Ewit to hand. He then passes after discarding a few cards due to hand size. Panhandle ends up milling 6 and lets his fish go. He heads straight to combat and takes Brennan out, who shows off an academy manufacturer which would have gone infinite, had he the mana for it. The table then gives Panhandle 2 clues and 2 treasures now that they're down to 3, with Panhandle on his second main casting into Fairy Time Raveler, who down ticks to bounce the Glow Rider. Although Hidden still has a Mother of Runes active and gives it protection from blue to stop the bounce. Panhandle then follows that up with Ephimage, who enters as a copy of Tivit to gain him another 2 clues and 2 treasures. Hidden untaps, mills 5, and plays a mountain as land, and then doubles down on the taxing as he casts a Thorn of Amethyst and a Goblin Crater Maker. Ending his turn, sending his Sarah's Ascended, Andrew for 6. Andrew untaps and mills 6, exiling most of it with croak counters. Lotus Petal only costs you 2 mana. That's, that's not too bad, right? <laughs> that's not too bad. A Cephalid Colosseum then comes out as land for turn. I don't really have a win here right now for that I can really construct in all honesty because of the, the taxation that's happening, which is theft in my book. The taxation uh, is real. <laughs> Oh, so the inner Philadelphia coming out of me. The Boros Legion will accept your taxes full heartedly. We await your donation. He then spends two mana on a Lion's Eye Diamond, cracking it to cast an Exiled Eternal Witness, which grabs back his Tezzeret, spending seven mana to cast the Walker, which down ticks to get a Basalt Monolith. This would actually give him the win if not for the taxes, as he can tap and untap the rock to mill his whole library. And even with the taxes, he could have still won if his Thassas wasn't exiled due to the opposition agent. But Andrew passes after that, with hidden at his end step, sacrificing his Crater Maker to deal 2 damage to the clone Tivit. And while the ability will still be countered due to the ward, the Fimage still sacrifices itself. Panhandle mills 6 and then activates his Wish Claw. He finds a card to hand, with hidden drawing off the Archivist. And unfortunately for the table, Andrew decided to tap his Cephalid Colosseum, as Panhandle has enough mana to cast Thassa's and Demonic Consult, exiling his library and winning him the game. Game Review Well, I guess taxes can only do you so good. It did slow Andrew and Brennan enough to prevent them from winning, but unfortunately it couldn't stop the tide of Panhandle and his Thassa's Oracle. Although man, that was quite a game. I didn't know who was going to take the victory, and there were so many twists and turns. I think overall, except for Andrew's last turn of Tezzeret, everyone played the best they could. And before everyone leaves, I want to thank a special Patreon member, Josh Schutt, for his support of the channel, along with all of our other Patreon supporters as well. And as always, I want to thank all the players who joined for the games, and remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. I'll see you guys later.